Jaws 2 from, I think it was 1978, is quite a step down despite being similar to the original. Okay, so now we don't have Steven Spielberg and we don't have Richard Dreyfuss. I think we still have John Williams' score and, and at least throughout all these movies it will retain the Jaws theme from him. But um, we have kind of a boring movie. So now we're back at Amity and uh, Chief Brody's wife, who she's, she was in the original movie too, but she didn't do a whole lot. But now she, she works at this hotel that's getting at, uh, just launched. There are more tourists here. Everything's all going fine and dandy. But um, yeah, you know, we got another shark attack, right? Well, the, now, we, now the shark doesn't attack great. And also, we're dealing with teenagers. So now we're getting a lot of this like slasher film vibe. And this was really before the 80s when the slasher film was huge. But we're, we're getting a lot of that vibe and it's a little off-putting to be like, oh God, now we got stupid kids. So now, Brody's kids, Mike and Sean, are older. And they want to go out on, on the boat. Uh, and with their friends who all they do is I guess they go on the water like other teenagers cruise around in American graffiti so uh, yeah I'm skipping a lot here but to skip ahead a great deal because the movie's so damn boring with scenes of people not believing Chief Brody and then firing him and then he just gets drunk oh but his kids are out on the water when he knows there's a shark Okay, so he goes goes out there with, I think he's got his wife and his deputy. Deputy, I think, was in the first movie. And they, they head out to the water and they find some people. And the, really the things of note here, there's two things really. Uh, there's this girl, I think her character's name's Terry. And she was like Miss Amity, she was like the beauty queen. And her name, uh, I think her, it's something like Ann Duesenberg or something. Her husband is Brad Fidel, the uh, the guy who scored the Terminator. So she actually has some scenes in the movie, Jaws 2, that might get mixed up with the original Jaws, such as uh, turning around and saying shark. You may have seen that. Also, there's a shot where the shark fin is in the water behind her. And the, the guy that she was with in the boat, he gets killed. She gets taken in. And I think Deputy and Mrs. Brody, or whatever the case was, they take her... Uh, oh, shit. I don't know what that was. They take her in. But then we have uh, Mike, and this is weird. The oldest Brody son, he gets injured in the shark attack among their little Fotella situation and gets taken out, like... They go, they go and take uh, one of the boats that's not so bad, takes him into shore. So then you're just left with little Brody, Sean. And the girl he's with, I think they said her name was Marge. She seemed, she seemed cool, man. Like, oh, hey, this guy giving you trouble? Hey, you can go on my boat, kid. It's like, you know, he wants to be included and she helped him out. What thanks does she get? She gets killed. Oh, but all the other douches live and shit. And hell, she even tried to rescue him. He fell in the water and she tried to swim to him and help him up. And she couldn't get in the boat quick enough, got killed. That was like, damn, that's some brutal shit there for her. So, this goes down. Brody shows up. Well, there's a helicopter that shows up and gets uh, attacked in the pontoons. It goes off kilter. The blades hit the water and break up, fly into the boats, damage them more. And it's not looking too good for everybody. Uh, Chief Brody shows up. There were some guys dredging uh, with a line earlier. They, Well, they picked up this power line and that comes in. So Brody Brody actually uh, gets gets all this power cable. And he's like, hey, we're gonna have the shark bite down on this. But there's some bad action that leads to this. Like there's a boat, his boat crashes. It's not a good crash. It's kind of like a Star Trek type thing where he's like, oh, okay. just has to throw himself somewhere. Oh, but he's hardly even 
banged up at all. Shark bites down on that, gets lit ablaze and sinks. And you're like, yeah, we got him. And that's Jaws 2. Yeah, I, I said it's boring. We're seeing a lot of the same stuff over again. What do you know? Another big shark comes to the same place. Oh, but nobody wants to believe the police chief. Oh boy. Uh, you know, it's like, wh where do you judge it from here? It's more of the same, only not as good. But at the same time, there's maybe a few things you might confuse with another Jaws movie. Uh, Jaws 2, I mean, I'm going to give it 2 out of 4 stars.